They're some of the smallest animals in the world, but plankton's role not just in the ocean, but the entire Earth ecosystem is much larger than we realize. That's according to research from scientists who have spent the last four years studying the creatures, and all from the decks of one boat called Tara. Romain Troublet is the executive director of the expedition. So Tara Ocean is a, is a joint project, public and private, public science and private money. The mission has been run on this vessel across many oceans. Over the four years of, this, of the program, the boat welcomed on board about 200 scientists from 45 countries, spending their time on board to sample the very uh, microscopic life of the ocean, the plankton. Plankton is known widely as the foodstuff of whales, but it can also use photosynthesis to make oxygen. That means the billions of microscopic creatures floating around in the ocean, many known as diatoms, are helping make our atmosphere. Chris Bowler is scientific coordinator of Tara Oceans. Close to half of the oxygen generated by the oceans, we believe, comes directly from diatoms. So that basically means every fifth time that you breathe, you're breathing oxygen, which we can directly trace back to diatoms. So they're sort of as, as important as the tropical rainforests in terms of their, their global contribution. The research into plankton's role on our planet also focused on pollution and how they're responding to man's effect on the ocean. Since we really want to, to emphasize the role of the ocean in the climate machine, we believe that the ocean is also a main driver of the climate change, a main, main mitigator in the way that the ocean and the life in the ocean is storing carbon dioxide, storing heat, and this machinery works because the ocean is in good health. Countries across the world are gearing up for a climate conference in Paris in December. If this research continues to gather attention, plankton might be one thing on the table nobody expected to see.